What's up guys, welcome to your 12th Photoshop tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about smart filters masks. Now, it's a lot uh, easier said than done. Smart filters mask sounds confusing, but it's not. So, now that we know what a mask is, and now that we know how to apply a filter, uh, or more specifically a smart filter, we can mask out certain parts of this filter. So, for example, if you watch the last tutorial, you know that I applied a uh, glowing edges and glass filter to these cows so that they are, let me just toggle this off, so it gives them kind of a weird look. But what if we only wanted to apply this filter on certain parts of our image? So, for example, maybe we just wanted, um, like, one of these cows to have, like, glowing edges around it. Well, in order to do that, what we need to do is make a mask on the filter layer. So this little white box, you see, all right, why is this white box here for nothing? This is actually the mask. So anytime we paint on this, the black is going to get rid of the mask and the white is going to show through it. So go ahead and click this little white box for your smart filters and then go ahead and uh, get a paintbrush like right here or something and make sure you're at a hard brush normal mode opacity 100 flow 100 and make sure you have the color black selected and now when we start painting you can see that it's it gets rid of the mask so let's go ahead and paint this with black and as you can see whenever we paint it the mask is gone and say we uh, went outside what we wanted to do all we have to do is paint with white and then the mask would um, reappear again. So black gets rid of the mask and white uh, makes it uh, show up again. And if you wonder how I'm adjusting my brush sizes real quick, like this, uh, you can either adjust it up here or if you press the little square brackets or brace on your keyboard, it'll make it bigger and under in uh, the other bracket the ones next to the P on your keyboard that's adjust the brush sizes so as you can see right here black pops up in your um, what's it called mask right over here and sometimes you want to do other stuff like uh, well for instance if you alt click this mask right here you can see only the mask so go ahead and alt click this right here and then you can toggle this on and off so now, when you alt click it, hold all on your keyboard and click it, you can either see only your mask or the entire image. So if you find it's easier to paint like this way, then that's how you do that. Now aside from just painting with a paintbrush, you can also use stuff like gradients. So if you go ahead right here and pick a gradient, you can go ahead and apply a mask this way. So look at that if you uh, click and drag that or drag it inward you got a nice little gradient and again if you alt and click this any shades of gray it doesn't have to be black or white or what you can use any shades of black white or gray the blacks gonna show here I'll just show you like this the blacks gonna show through the mask all the way and the whites not gonna show through it at all and any shades of gray is going to be a uh, like semi transparent or semi opacity so that is how you make a mask or a smart mask using a smart filter and anytime you want to get rid of your entire mask you can do a couple things you can right click smart filters and click um this or uh, what do you click disable or delete filter mask and anytime you want to add it again just right click it and put add filter mask or you can also just click it and drag it down to the trash bin right here and again to get it back just click add filter mask and you can be in uh, painting again or adding gradients like that so that is how you work with masks and how you add a mask to a smart filter so I hope you enjoyed it if you didn't then uh, just uh, well do something else then but um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm now going to go to Food Lion and buy chicken to make a chicken salad because I'm hungry. And uh, you, well, you can go do something else. 
but uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to watch my next one. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it's the best channel ever. See you later.